Hey everybody, it's Heath from DoMyOwn.com and today we're going to talk to you about applying spring pre-emergence. Why should you apply a spring pre-emergent herbicide? Uh, the best answer to that is to get an early control on those weeds. Uh, the best way to go about it is to prevent those weeds hinting the pre-emergent part. A pre-emergent is going to put a barrier over the lawn to stop those seeds from germinating, uh, to eliminate a lot of those weeds from, from emerging into the lawn throughout the growing season. So when applying these spring pre-emergents, it's important to put it down early. Uh, we want to make sure that we're putting it down prior to the soil temperature reaching 55 degrees so that we can get control over those stubborn weeds like goosegrass and crabgrass and, and some of the other weeds that may pop up throughout the year like clover and, and dandelions and that kind of thing. It's important to get it down prior to those emerging uh, so that we don't have to use post-emergence to control those weeds. If you have a forsythia bush, uh, those usually bloom right around 50 to 55 degrees. So anytime the forsythia is blooming, it's a good time to put down your first pre-emergent application. Another thing that you can do is you can take a soil probe and probe it into the first inch to two inch uh, layer of the, the soil and get a temperature reading that way. Earlier is always better. So the sooner we can get that pre-emergent down, the sooner that we're gonna stop those weeds from emerging. And the best thing to do is to do a split application with that. So if you're not exactly sure, do your first application early uh, and then try to schedule your second application right around that timing of the 55 to 60 degree mark. Uh, with that, you're going to get a season long control over those weeds by doing a split application. Uh, it's actually going to increase the timing of that pre-emergence. So you can put the same amount down uh, in one single application, uh, but doing a split application with that same rate is going to give you a longer control. Another important reason to do a split application is the weather aspect of it. Uh, it's going to break down quicker if you get a lot of rain. Uh, another important aspect of that is the application of it. Uh, if you've missed locations on one application, hopefully you catch it on the second application. Uh, so that way you can get a, a good barrier down over the, the entire area. So when doing your split applications, it's important to pull out your calendar and mark the date of the first application. With that, you'll know from there on, you wanna apply your second application, usually five to eight weeks after the initial application. So for those warm season turfs that don't go dormant, it may be important instead of doing split applications, which you can still do, uh, it may be more importantly to do quarterly applications. And so that's why pulling out that calendar would be real important for you uh, to determine exactly when you're applying those pre-emergent applications. How to apply your pre-emergent applications is gonna depend upon the equipment that you have and maybe the size of your lawn. Liquid applications uh, can be applied. Just make sure that you're getting even applications all the way through. You're reading those label rates to make sure you're applying the proper amount of product to the thousand square feet that you're applying it to. Uh, same thing with the granular. Make sure that you're abiding by that label as well. Uh, we wanna make sure that we're making even applications all the way through so that we've got the same pre-emergent so it all breaks down at the same time. It is important to double swipe along the curbs, especially when doing liquid applications. And if you're using a granular product, uh, put your spreader guard down uh, when doing those curb applications and that'll apply the little extra product that you need uh, for it to last in those areas since they do break down a little bit faster because of weather and, and climate change. Some of the common active ingredients to use for your spring pre-emergent applications are gonna consist of dithopyr, uh, prodiamine, or pendimethylam. Uh, those are very common actives uh, that would give you great control over a wide variety of different weeds throughout the, the spring and summertime. So if you know the type of weeds that you're having issues with in the spring and the summer, it may be beneficial for you to do a little research and make sure that the pre-emergent that you're applying is actually targeting those weeds specifically. Uh, if not, you may be able to do a combination of different pre-emergents or find a pre-emergent that's specific for that weed and has other weeds listed on the label that you're trying to control. So it's important to read those labels to make sure that you're applying the proper product. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you have great success this year. And if you like this video, please click the like button and check out our other videos by subscribing.